Hello and welcome to another edition of Mike's Recommendation of the Week. This one won't be a dud, not like the past two weeks. Uh, this week, my recommendation is The Witch. What makes you think she's a witch? Well, she turned me into a newt. A newt. We got better. Now, for those of you who don't know The Witch, The Witch is a uh, horror movie that came out earlier this year. And it tells the story of a Puritan family in New England in the 1600s uh, as they are kind of banished from their village and forced to live on their own on the land. It's widely known for its accurate depiction of that point in history. Uh, there's actually a part of the Blu-ray that has a um, Q&A with a bunch of historians and the director and they all talk about how accurate his uh, depiction of the time period was. This isn't your typical horror movie where it's all jump scares and, uh, you know, it's it's um, edge of your seat the entire time. It's kind of really understated in a way. It's more of a lurking behind you than it is right in your face. It's, it's something that you feel uneasy about the entire time, but you're unsure why. There's not something that's jumping out at you at every second. That's what I really love about it. It's not one of those typical horror movies that just jumps out everything jumps out of you it's it's it it trusts its story to be creepy uh and i know because of this a lot of people didn't like it because they're not used to this kind of horror but this is the kind of horror i think we need to make now this isn't official but i heard a theory from a co-worker of mine and he said that each character represents one of the seven deadly sins you have pride greed gluttony envy sloth lust and wrath and if you watch it with that in mind for those of you who have already seen it and want to rewatch it watch it with that in mind it hasn't been confirmed by the director but it's a really close representation of the seven deadly sins if you look at each character as an archetype of those sins that really makes the whole movie that much more interesting i feel at least the effort put into this movie is incredible it's a very small budget uh you know it's one of those smaller movies that doesn't really gain much ground until people see it like he had a hard time raising money the director robert egger and he put so much effort and time into making this his vision that i can't help but respect that the cinematography is beautiful each shot is like a painting each shot is is chosen specifically to give some sort of feeling which is how cinematography should be it shouldn't just be you know random shots everywhere like a lot of that you see a lot today and it really manipulates its audience which is what movies are supposed to they're supposed to manipulate you to feel a certain way um this definitely is not a scary movie for most people uh it's it's not really scary at all but it's extremely disturbing <laughs> the first time i watched it i made this face a lot because of how disturbing it was it it makes the child actors in it that much more incredible i was watching an interview with the director and he said that uh he never really told the kids in it what the context of their their parts were he told them how to act you know breathe faster breathe heavier have uh, a scared reaction on your face but he didn't tell them what they're supposed to be afraid of and the fact the fact that he was able to get these performances out of these kids while doing that is just remarkable this this director this is his first feature film and Based on that alone, I have high hopes for him. I think he's going to have a great career ahead of him. I'm very excited to see what else he will do. And this is one of my favorite movies of the year. And possibly one of my favorite movies of the decade. It's just a fantastic movie. I highly suggest you check it out. I understand that it's not your your typical scary. But check it out with an open mind. Uh, watch it for what it is because it's not going to jump out and scare you. It's going to lurk behind you. It's not in your face. It's very understated. So watch it with that in mind, and I think everyone uh, will find something to enjoy about it. It's really a fantastic movie. Did you dress up like this? No! 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 no, no. no. Yes. 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 yes! yes! Yeah, a bit! Yeah. A bit! A bit! A bit! She has got a wart! Thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. You know, follow what we do on the daily on a daily basis. Over there, that's going to be my last week record Mondays, which was for planes, trains, and automobiles. I did a one take because I was really busy that week and didn't really have much time. Over there, that's going to be Glenn's, uh, Glenn, last week's Glenn's Day, which was Sin City. Check out what he thought about that. 
uh, you know, show them some love and all that. Below my face is Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You know what to do with those. You're not new to this. Go do it. Below that is the comment section. If you've seen The Witch, tell me what you thought. If you haven't seen it, tell me what you thought uh, of my explanation of it. Or just, you know, say hi. I'm lonely.